Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 where I am recreating the Sebring 12 hour in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Now this isn't sort of my usual intro. Usually I introduce sort of the race and everything that's going to go on. But unfortunately, like the special unit that I am, I recorded the first five hours of this race without any audio. So instead, I'm just going to take you guys through how this race is supposed to sort of work and how I sort of made it happen as well as all the mods that I used and whatnot and how you can do this yourself. Self. Now, as you can see, I have just ran wide in turn one and completely bollocks it up. Now, as I said, this is supposed to be a recreation of the Sebring 12 hour. However, instead of doing the full 12 hours, I've just done a six hour race. So it's half race distance, which is what I usually do on all my sim racing games anyway. And instead of driving the full six hours, I've actually handed over a portion of it to my AI racing driver teammates, where pretty much I just let the AI take control and do a couple of stints. So I'm not doing the full six hours in one go. Now, the difficulty around here was quite hard to get right because the AI are actually really really good around here and I ended up setting it to 100% which is 10% lower than what I usually run it for those that have R factor 2 you'll understand what that means the AI aggression set to 40% the AI limiter set to 0% and the damage was pretty much maxed out so for the most part uh, yeah we we couldn't touch anything because or else we would get some sort of damage and as you can see here we did have a couple of issues uh, the Mazda completely obliterated itself and we managed to miss it uh, that was probably the hairiest moment in the race. Now, for those that don't know, the Sebring 12 hour sort of starts during the day and ends during the night. So this was the first sort of hour of the race. I did the first hour and the last hour and let my sort of AI teammates take over and do the middle section of the race. Now, we were able to go one or two laps further than the AI. So we did stretch out the sort of pit stops a little bit longer, which meant that all the pit cycle was all sort of backwards and we were pitting at different points to, uh, in the race to the AI but in terms of the mods that I've used in today's video you can check them out they're all in the description below uh, some of them are part of the DLC pack with just sort of skins that I've gone and found uh, but yeah getting these all together was a bit of a task but by the time I did get them all together it is a lot of fun as you can see we got all the cars from the 2020 sort of IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship season they only ended up running one race in real life in this championship this year and that was uh, the Daytona 24 hours so now in my opinion this prototype is the best prototype you can get on R Factor 2 it handles incredibly well it's incredibly realistic I must admit I mean this is way more realistic than any of the prototypes on iRacing or any of the other sims that I've driven like Project Cars 2 or or race room or any of that sort of stuff. Now today I am driving a Penske Acura. This is one of the two Penske sort of entries that are in the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. For me, the Acura is just the coolest looking prototype out there right now. It just looks absolutely sick. I mean, anything that has Penske on it looks cool. They've always had really cool looking prototypes. Yeah, in this race, I have the full field of DPIs. I have the Cadillac, obviously the Acura I'm driving and the Mazda. I've got five LMP2 cars. They are Oricas. I've got the current Porsche. I've got the current BMW, but I've got the old Corvette uh, and I haven't been able to find a Ferrari GTE anywhere yet that has some sort of GTLM skin on it. Now in the GTD class, which is essentially just GT3, I've got for the most part, all the cars I think that took place uh, in the Daytona 24, as well as what was going to take place this year. And that includes the Mercedes, the Audi, the Aston Martin, the Ferrari, the uh, Acura, I think was one of them. There's just, yeah, there's a whole range of different GTD cars uh, in this field. But yeah, for the most part, this was a really fun race. But now I finally got to the point where I realized that the audio was turned off. I'm going to let you guys watch this final hour of the race, which, which is, as you can see, in the dark under sort of, well, some lighting and and this sort of final run to the finish. My two AI co-drivers have been absolutely insane throughout this race. Uh, for the most part, we have been running second, but the Mazda that was in the lead has crashed out. So there's only six DPIs remaining. But yeah, it's... A, going to be a bit of an interesting run to the finish because there are some sort of differences in strategy going on but yeah anyway we'll just have to see how that goes okay well here he comes into the pits i'm gonna switch it out do this final hour and seven minutes okay here we go so it looks like we're in third well we're gonna come out in third but, again, I'm not quite sure how the whole pit cycle is working out right now. We'll soon find out, but... Anyway, it's good to have the game audio actually working now. I can't believe I didn't notice it before, but anyway. So, in theory, there shouldn't be that much traffic. 
right now. And there's about eight odd cards, eight odd cards out of the race. Whoa, easy now. That could have gone wrong. Frequent stutters at night. I don't know why. Anyway, we'll have to just deal with it. That is one beautiful car, that Aston Martin. Fortunately, it's not overly quick by the sounds of it. GTD, GTLM and uh, LMP2 classes, AI just cannot cope with the mighty Supering. survive the end of this race because it is getting hot in here I've got two light lights that um, are meant to be for filming although I don't really know anything about filming anyway I got them off of Amazon and they're good I mean they're bright they do the job but boy do they make some heat it is hot in here okay well come down to 11 litres of fuel, so we'll hit this next lap. Get four new fresh Michelins on her. Oop, that's the grass. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Oh, I've hit the wall. Bloody grass. Right, we survived just tackle, so we got a little bit of damage. Yeah, that would have hurt. Anyway, we'll get that fixed. Damn, that whole first stint was so good. I went and did that. What a freak! Alright, this pit stop is going to take longer than I was hoping for because we have to repair all this bloody damage, but anyway. Seven is oh, it's quite a way behind actually. Uh -oh. It's gonna be 
scary. way to go there. There we go. One of the JDC cars behind us that's a lap down. Actually I think it's two laps down, yeah. No, hey, yo, not cool, not cool, my G. Well, that cost us a little bit of time, but oh well. Still seem to be pulling away from the guys in second. straight and then all right and we should hopefully win this thing Woo. seem to have found all the traffic at once here it's funny how that does that in endurance racing like you know you start the race all packed up then you'll spread out and then at some point in the race everyone just seems to pack together again I mean I know you have like, safety cars and whatnot but even just long green flag runs, it's weird. DPIs, one of them's our teammate in the Acura. Oh, oh, there is the BMW exiting pit lane. It's got to be like the worst pit exit in North American motorsport. Mind you, there's a few bad ones to be honest. Oh, loose. here while I try and make it to the end on one more stop. It's going to be a little bit difficult but we'll give it a shot. Alright, we made it with one litre of fuel left. Woo! That's kind of close. Alrighty, here we go, final stint to the finish. It's going to be a stretch, but I think we'll be able to make it on fuel while we do a little bit of saving.
This Mercedes no rear end. And in the walls. the grass kids it's not good for you <laughs> this guy just cannot get his lap back. This is hilarious. Oh, big wreck. Oh, okay. Oh, that was the uh, second place car that's now gone a lap down. <laughs> well, it's all coming to us at the end of the race here. Getting a lot of luck when we need it. Five minutes to go. Right, I got two minutes to go, so we two more laps.
Okay, here we go. Final lap of this Sebring 12 hour. I am absolutely wrecked. Just get this thing over the finish line. Time has expired. Checkered flag is waiting. Actually, technically, already won because well, the Acura number seven is a lap down. Wow, this is actually going to be a Penske one too, I just realised that. The 5 and the 10 must have had to pit when they got in that little wreck, whatever that was earlier, but... Anyway, last corner. Survive the bumps one more time. Oh, my days. This has been a long one. This has been a long and painful one, but we grabbed the win in the end. Oh, alright. I need a drink. This has been ridiculous. This track is so much harder than it looks. Uh, well, there you have it lads, a win in the DPI category at Sebring on R Factor 2. I'm not overly excited and happy about it because the AI did most of the work, not the live bit. <laughs> and other than the fact that we also had a little audio issue, so that's going to be screwing the video up. But anyway, yeah, good fun race nonetheless. I would recommend getting these mods and testing this track out if you have got Arfax 2. I do love the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, but anyway, on to the next one. I'm going to be doing some more NASCAR Heat 4 next. That's going to be at Phoenix, so tune in for that. And until then, I'll catch you guys later.